Hey everyone, so in the Cove, we've dealt with electrical engineering, plenty of computer vision projects, and what's the last hot topic we're missing? Machine learning. <laughs> so we're trying to get some more machine learning projects out there. What we're gonna be figuring out is if this is a light color or a dark color, and if this is a light color or a dark color. Now, human eyes, they may, you know, they may vary. Some people may say this is light, some people may say this is dark. We have algorithms to prove that this is light and this is dark. Well, technically these are both dark. This is light and this is dark and this is dark. Now, since we already have proven algorithms to prove that, we don't really need machine learning for that. That's what makes this project so easy to conceptualize, simply because we can do it easily. And I think it's a very great introduction to machine learning on this channel. Now, here's the kicker. We're gonna be dealing with electrical engineering, computer vision, and machine learning all at the same time. This is exciting. So I'm not gonna keep you all waiting. Let's jump into the code. So here's the setup. We have this styrofoam board. We have our servo, it's a continuous servo. So we make sure we're going all the way around so I can push it either left for light or right for dark. We have our Raspberry Pi hooked up to the servo. And then we have our camera. It's a cheap camera that we got from eBay. And then we have our light panel to make sure the lighting is consistent. And then we have our colors that we don't know. Is that light? Is that dark? Is that dark? Is that light? We're gonna find out. So here's a bit of the code. The best way to get started with machine learning is having something to wrap your head around. I've dealt with a lot of things surrounding colors. So that's my specialty. So for me, that was my easiest way to wrap my head around a machine learning problem. Having something that I can solve without machine learning first and then, and then implement machine learning. Get, want to get into things like that we can't solve, especially with when we're dealing with like deep learning. That's where you're going to see the, the benefits of machine learning. But for now, you just want to learn. You just want to get started. So come up with something you can wrap your head around. So the algorithm to get, to get the brightness is R plus R plus B plus G plus G plus G. So two R's, one B, three G's divided by six. There is a better algorithm out there to get a more precise calculation, but we wanna make this simple right now. To collect the data, we're gonna be using JavaScript. We're just gonna collect random RGB values. We're gonna to try to collect at least a million of them. The possible combinations of RGB is around, it's over 17 million. So one million random is gonna be a lot of duplicates. So we're not gonna overfit. That's not something we have to worry about. So our feature names is red, green, blue, and our class name is dark and light. We're gonna create all of those, a million of them. So after that, we're gonna build it to a big JSON file and we're gonna have all of our features and labels and data inside of this uh, JSON file. Next up, we're gonna use scikit-learn to create a decision tree that's going to basically have a bunch of if and else statements. So if R is greater than 200 and G is less than 100, it's a light color. That's not realistic, but you know. We can also visualize this. So this is a PDF where I use like a thousand. So it's easier to read. The decision tree for a million is like ridiculous. So next up is the JavaScript test. So before we deal with any electrical engineering, deal with any servos and deal with any computer vision, let's have something else we can test with. So we're gonna be using JavaScript, simple HTML file that also has an express um, server. We're gonna start the express server, come over to the browser, and now we have our colors we could choose from. So if we go to like a color like blue, we're gonna use that, determine the color. So like it uses scikit-learn to predict the color using this, the decision tree that we exported using our job lib. Come over here, this test.py, it's going to run this, it's gonna load the model, and then it's gonna predict it using that model. And it's gonna tell us, is this a dark or a light color? We come over here, this should be a light color light come over here this should be a this should be a light color light perfect now we can get to the raspberry pi that wasn't too bad was it we have a raspberry pi running now we're ready to run it so let's start the program let's see a little live feed come up here how we have this working is that it waits 40 frames after it detects something we're gonna put this orange block in now if i put my hand in it's gonna detect this my hand most likely first before it detects the block Nice. Oh, it detected the block. Perfect. And now we have 40 frames to put something else in before um, it detects. Nice. So that was dark. That was dark as well. That was dark as well. Um, that one makes sense. See this white block. It's not gonna detect the white block because it thinks it's, it's mixed in with the cardboard. I wasn't paying attention. Let's try this again. I believe the orange and the yellow should be light, but uh, I didn't really check. Oh, okay, that was light. That was light. 
That was light as well. That's dark. That should be dark. Red should be dark. Perfect. <laughs> we have our we have our sort of going. Oh, that detected the white cardboard this time. So <laughs> let's try the green. Green was dark. That makes about that makes enough sense. You see, oh, the lighting is off a bit. There's still a bit of a shadow. It looks like. Uh, let me try to fix this lighting just a tiny bit. I guess that green color really is a dark color. I want to run my algorithm on it. Well, yeah, that's um, it's definitely a dark color. Extremely happy. It's our first machine learning project on the channel. We use the decision tree, which is supervised learning. There's three different categories of machine learning. There's supervised, unsupervised, and then reinforcement. And there's a third one, like semi-supervised. We use supervised learning, it's the easiest one. It's something we can wrap our head around. This problem could have been solved without machine learning. We're gonna use machine learning because we wanna use machine learning. We use the scikit-learn library and we made our machine. It's mixing in everything, machine learning, computer vision, electrical engineering, we did it. We finished our super simple machine learning, computer vision, electrical engineering project. Python, JavaScript, everything. We finished the project. It may have seemed pretty simple, but it was a lot putting together. Putting all those things together was a lot. In the future, I definitely want to dig a little deeper into machine learning and continue integrating machine learning with Raspberry Pis. I think the possibilities are endless. Right now, we just created a simple color sorter that we can put in a factory and hey, we don't even need workers to organize our Legos anymore. Let me know what y'all think about this video and uh, let me know if you guys want me to go more in depth of the code. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.